Hi everyone, it's Bella. And today I'd like to speak to you about the full supermoon at 19 degrees of Aquarius. That is on the 11th or 12th, depending on where you are, of August 2022. Now, this Aquarius full moon is serious. It means business and brings an energetic ending or completion, a cold finality, even if just in the mind at first, in the Aquarius house and area of your life. During a full moon, different parts or all the stable, important parts of your life can feel like they are working against each other. There can be tension in close relationships between work and play, work and home, family and friends, mind and feelings. But full moon energy can also bring undeniable magnetic attrac attractions of unusual kinds, especially in this case, and revelations and transformations. Now, this full moon is in a tenacious fixed cross formation energy. It reactivates the triple conjunction in Taurus between Uranus, Mars, and the North Node, as well as the eclipse energies for this year. We have the Sun in rulership in Leo, opposing Saturn in rulership in Aquarius, conjunct the Moon in Aquarius, squaring the Taurus triple conjunction we just had, as well as the South Node in Scorpio. The Moon is at 19 degrees, emphasizing a starting and finishing theme. We have to finish something to make room for something new. This can be scary, but it can also be exciting. We're at a bridge, but we still need to cross. Are we making changes based on fear or based on hope? With the sun in Leo, we want to march to the beat of our own drum, and we may feel more inclined toward freedom of expression, childlike fun, and curiosity. It is a good time to focus on your outward expression, your authenticity, your truth, what brings you joy, as that connects to your passion and your purpose, and also getting to know yourself. You may ask, what is my heart beating for? If you struggle with this, spend time with children or go back to what you used to love as a child and reconnect to your inner being in order to shine it outward. The moon in Aquarius puts a spotlight on community, your support system, your peers, your friends especially, the groups you belong to, your political affiliations, as well as your future goals. You may feel you need to connect emotionally with a friend or maybe a friend does with you. There can also be some jealousy or possessiveness involved in some way. There can be changes now in friendships as well as groups or associations that you have a change or new understanding in perspective. It is a good time to investigate your goals and to see if there's any trimming necessary. Are they aligned with who you truly are now? Or are they part of a person you used to be? Are they realistic? Or are there changes that you need to make? Or maybe this is going to take a bit longer than what you originally planned. We may feel in conflict with our truth and how we feel secure versus where things are going. The moon conjunct to Saturn also indicates a sense of loneliness and isolation in some way. 
you may experience a feeling of not being supported and rather keeping your feelings to yourself at this time, which is quite opposite to the Leo sun energy of outward expression and joy. You are thinking seriously at this time and you may wait for the right moment to put it out there. Saturn is the ruler of this moon, which can bring a cold, harsh reality check for some. Saturn wants you to get practical. Saturn is also in the third decan of um, Aquarius at 22 degrees. It's retrograde. And it is a master builder number or a master architect for fixing the cracks in your foundation. Going back and checking that you are covering the areas that you have missed and the main areas of your life before moving forward. It connects to ambition, hard work, patience, and ultimately the need to prove your worth to those around you. It brings things full circle as it represents everything from creation to eternity, just as the Hebrew alphabet has 22 letters. This number carries a very high amount of nervous energy, even for the master numbers. The powers are unlimited yet orderly, and they are intuitive yet rational. In modern astrology, Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius, and thus the fact that both Uranus and Saturn, the traditional ruler, are in strong aspect to each other now, puts an extra emphasis on this extraordinary moon. We want to jump rather aggressively, but must not forget the distance, the landing, and the consequences. Some of us do not want to jump, but we have to, or we may get stuck in slavery. The moon herself is in the second decan of Aquarius, ruled by a Gemini Mercury, an inventive genius energy, in the dwad of a Virgo Mercury, also suggesting getting a mental revelation and creatively, Sun and Leo, using a new perspective moon in Aquarius, and new information, people, or ideas towards solutions. We need to organize our rebellion. We have grown and our values have changed through letting go of what no longer is in resonance with our purpose, that's straining our growth, tapping into what actually is, who actually is, and manifesting the steps toward a life and path forward that we can walk with within our truth, which is simplicity, which is freedom. This moon is also in the nakshatra of Danishta, symbolic of a drum, hearing the music of possibility. Now, what can we expect with this new, this full moon? I almost said new moon. This new full super moon, um, feelings of guilt, loneliness, fear, depression, a sense of isolation or feeling alone, even if it's just about a certain topic, and being unsupported in what we truly desire. A harsh reality check for some, especially if you've been avoiding taking responsibility in some area or taking care of business and now you have to deal with the consequences. A harsh realization that has you realizing what you will need to adjust or change or cut in order to course correct. A strong desire towards something and, and receiving a big no or a, that's gonna have to happen later, or in this way. Wanting to distance ourselves from our emotions or 
cut them off for now in order to deal with life. There can be a block in communication or having no words or finding it difficult to speak about something. Changes in relationships, friendships and groups, ego conflicts, emotionally charged anger outbursts, domestic problems, changes in our future goals, tension in close relationships, even feeling within your physical body the impulse and the knowingness of what needs to go. Aggressive behavior toward or from others, issues with authority figures, accidents, violence, revolutionary energy, unexpected events, connections, and separations. Taking things personally, feeling threatened or and overreacting is possible because of pent up emotions. At times, it could feel as if someone or others are picking at us, finding flaws or challenging your sense of self in some way, blocking or restrictions from others can become more intense, or we are simply more aware of it and how done we are with it. This is where knowing who you are comes in. And if left breathless, this is where you're forced to tap into your inner knowingness and power. This energy is positive and great for getting clear on what you want going forward in a more thorough and precise manner. Assessing your future goals and if they still suit the new you because your values and sense of self has changed. Recognizing your fears and emotional blockages and spending time with others rather than isolating yourself. It will remind you that you're not alone, that others also go through things and it may assist in understanding your feelings better and getting rid of the fear and anxiety of intimate connections with others, ultimately helping you to express what's inside outwardly. So spending time with others is a good idea as long as you balance it with enough time to ponder that which is of essence right now. To channel your energy and any aggression through physical, physically working out, it's positive also for accomplishing a considerable amount of work, establishing what you want and having the gutso um, to go for it. It's great for awareness of self and creating balance between your needs and obligations, compromise, within boundaries, regrouping your support system, building community with like-minded individuals, making the changes in your life where you need to be more self-sufficient or independent. It's great for doing something in a different way, breaking the mold, changing habits that no longer serve you and reinventing yourself and your life, trying something new that excites you and spending time in nature, grounding. If you always go left, go right, and just see where it takes you. Allowing flexibility in your plans and schedules will allow you to move and adjust more smoothly with unexpected changes and events. Expect the unexpected, but stay positive, present, and curious. Life is a journey and you can make it an, an adventure if you choose to. You can always make changes. So don't see anything as final, even if it feels that way. Romantic interludes can occur with Venus at zero degrees of Leo, trining Neptune in Pisces. An illusion or soulmate energy will be the question to those starting new relations under this energy but this is great for building in your mind first that which you are to manifest externally when the time is right 
Venus also opposes Pluto and jealousy and manipulation and power and control issues can rear its head in relationships and love connections. But you may also even feel uncontrollably attracted to someone that you know may not be good for you. And in some cases, it could be a mutual uncontrollable attraction that is good and extremely passionate and deep. This aspect will only push you further toward making the changes necessary or at least coming face to face with your inner feelings about what does need to evolve. Collectively, topics that include children, self-expression, creativity, self-employment, politics, changes in legislation, also changes connected to women and homes can be expected. More restrictions can be expected, especially with the in conjunct with Mercury and Saturn and Mars squaring um, Saturn as well, which is all connected to movement, um, communication and um, action. Radical rebellious groups can form, protests, earthquakes, volcanoes, natural disasters, accidents, mechanical malfunctions, Caution is advised regarding financial investments and gambling. Caution while commuting or traveling. I would advise to not take any crazy risks on um, fairgrounds with rides. Um, I wouldn't um, get on an airplane on an airplane for the month of August. Um, if you don't have to, um, I would just avoid anything that could possibly go wrong in a mechanical way. And to just think things through more, drive more carefully, and so forth. To get more on the collective energy, I again suggest listening to my video on the triple conjunction between Mars, Uranus, and the North Node. That took place on the um, 31st of July and 1st of August. Um, it, it covers the main energy that's again still present with this full moon and that's that sort of follows us into the remainder of this year in many ways. So it's it would be good for you to listen to that. I also have the individual rising signs out for those and they um, their links are also in that video's description box as well. But I might just put them in this one as well so you can check. But definitely check out that video. But please listen, uh, listen to the collective reading for the fuller scope of things. Um, sensitive organs during this time, including the ones I mentioned in the triple conjunction video, in this case, um, is the calves, the ankles, the shin, the Achilles tendon, the forearm muscles, thyroid hormones, and um, the mind. Now, radical changes are here. What price are you willing to pay to be you, to be free, to live your future the way you desire? What parts need to be let go of? which embraced, who is coming along for the ride, and who stays behind. This is chaos. This is distortion. But ultimate, the painful yet exhilarating birth of your alignment with God's purpose for your life. In order to weather this storm, we need to stay grounded in who we know we are, trusting God's plan for our lives will unfold as it should and allowing what is not of love to go. There are insights and an inner knowing activated now that allows us to understand our motivations and to operate from this new perspective with an unstoppable determination. There's an importance 
to stop chasing and start attracting by letting go. That way, what comes to you is for you. I'd like to read to you the Sabian symbol for the 19th degree of Aquarius. A forest fire is being subdued by the use of water, chemicals, and sheer muscular energy. The keynote is the skill and courage necessary to bring under control the destructive potential of carelessness of karmic visitations. Forest fires may be caused by human carelessness, by lightning or by the byproducts of modern technology. Every individual, at least once in his lifetime, if not repeatedly, may perhaps have to face spectacular reactions to seemingly insignificant acts. There are to be considered, or these are to be considered, means to test his strength, ingenuity, or emotional stability. Every faculty at his disposal must be made use of, emotional, mental, physical. He needs faith in himself and in superior powers. We are shown a man in action in a crucial and potentially devastating situation. There is a need for a total mobilization of energy and a deep sense of indomitability. I'd also like to read to you the inside degrees for 19 degrees of Aquarius. Loud crushing noises as a glacier moves. The indomitable spirit of one who has been at this forever and will still be on collective karmic alert to the very end. Purpose hugely takes precedence. Whatever is changing and whatever is staying the same are the two forces you track with and report back to cosmic center upon. You are being driven to the utmost to observe and witness objectively and dispassionately all the decisive and epochal shifts and pressures in the collective mix. Eyes wide open in the dark, attention riveted to trends and turning points and yielded up to a long ago agreed to code of recording and evaluating all the relevant data so that the cosmic forces can determine what is happening way down here and can fine tune their ways to evolve the situation optimally so that all concerned can synchronize with the greater ways and be released from anything and everything that runs counter to the bright promise of Earth evolution. This week of the full moon, you can also check out the Perseid and Delta awkward meteor showers. It might be a little bit hard to see it when it, a couple of days before and after the full moon, but for most of August still, you should be able to take a peek and see them. They're quite steady. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for listening. May the sun shine bright on you this day. May there be blessings coming your way. Until next time, bye-bye.